Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. Mm, it's a beautiful sunsetty kind of a vibe I was going for today. I did dip around into several different palettes. I think I used the Jaclyn Hill palette, the Kylie palette, and then I dipped into this Fenty palette. So yeah, I did dip around quite a bit. I knew what colors I wanted to use and I knew what I wanted to play with. So that is what I did. Um, yeah, if you guys are new here, I'm Lauren Jade. I do tutorials on my eye shape and I have hooded eyes. I have mature, crepey, wrinkly skin um, because I'm 57. So most of my eye tutorials focus on my eye shape and what I am working with. I have trouble, you guys know if you followed me for a while, the cookie cutter one size fits all YouTube tutorial where they go into the crease with a large fluffy brush because if you have hooded eyes, you do not have a crease. So it's a little bit of a different animal. You kind of have to do things a little bit differently. And what I do, I skip around a lot. You guys know if you followed me, I kind of like to bronze up my crease. I like to shade the hood. I, I'm really huge on eye contouring. I like to create a fake crease. I kind of like to map out my lid space. I kind of like to get some definition going. I just sort of have a pattern that I do, but it works for me and my eye shape. And that is what we do over here on my channel. So if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it to so be notified of all of my future uploads and join my little hooded eyes family here. And yeah, that's it. I don't want to keep yakking. I want to keep this short. So let's get right into this tutorial. I already went ahead and I primed my eyes. I used Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre as always, and I lightly set this primer with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm gonna kind of skip around a lot today, and I'm gonna kind of dip around in a lot of different kind of palettes, but the idea here is not specifically about doing a look with a certain type of a palette. It's just more about kind of the technique and working with hooded eyes and just kind of what is very helpful. Bronzer, this is going to be my transition shade. I'm using a Sigma E35 and I just want a light wash of color for this first application and I am going to kind of start to lightly just kind of kind of define the shape a little bit. I'm going to start out by placing it um, really lightly here on my lid because I am going to kind of build up a little bit of color and then I'm just going to take this in and I'm following my natural eye socket right here is my natural crease right here and so I'm working right on my socket bone like directly above that and then when I get to this inner corner I'm going to pick up just a little bit more and I'm going to dust it in the inner corner and kind of brush this up towards the brow as always you guys know that I like that Kylie Jenner inner corner shading. I'm also going to take it a little bit into the nose contour. This is just a staple that I've been doing literally for like ever it seems like. Take that in and take that down. Alright, I'm going to go into my Fenty palette here and I'm going to pick up this shade right here. I don't exactly know what it's called but this orangey shade right here because I want to kind of orange up the look I'm still using my Sigma E35 and I just kind of want the same effect I want this kind of a orangey start to kind of bring some orange into this look I'm gonna stay right here on this socket bone so I'm pretty much going from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner when I get there I'm gonna kind of swirl a little bit of color right in the inner corner and push it up towards the brow. I just love that. When you do that with a bronzy color, it just literally adds so much and it just kind of softens that whole area. So I'm just still working with a nice light wash of color. I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 now and this Bobbi Brown Bone color shade and you guys probably know the drill at this point I'm just going to lightly give a nice little wash of that bone color right out here I'm gonna kind of catch the edges of this of the last two shades that I brought in and just kind of whisk around so that everything is nice and airy out here I prefer more of a structured inner corner and I like it more feathered and kind of faded towards the end. 
you guys know I just really love that kind of sultry fade on that inner corner and then when I get out here I like it really airy because I have hooded eyes I feel like when you have a lot of dark colors out here especially if they're coming way down here and you don't keep them elongated and lifted and I've done a lot I've talked about that extensively on a lot of my videos it just looks so heavy and it just drags them down and makes them look droopy so you really want to keep if you have color out here on the outer corner you want to keep everything in alignment here so that everything is lifted and not hanging out like down there because it just does not look good if you have hooded eyes so we just want to keep everything nice and light and airy all right now i'm gonna grab oh, let's see i need is this not stunning? This is the new Nubian 3 palette. I've gotten like, I think, 10 new palettes in the last like few days. Oh, I, I literally could film every day between now and the end of the year. And I still wouldn't get through all of my palettes. All right, now I am in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to grab my MAC 224 brush. And I'm going to take this creamsicle shade right here. And I want to bring some yellow now into this look. And I'm going to kind of, a little bit more strategically, kind of start to map out the shape that I want for the eyeshadow look. And then I'm going to start to put in my fake crease. So I'm just going to start out here in the outer corner. And I'm going to just follow right above my natural crease. So kind of right in that hood there. And I'm right in that socket area. So I'm basically right in this socket bone. I am not kind of winging out this shape. I'm just following my natural shape of my eye socket. All right, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that creamsicle shade and just kind of deepen it up a little bit more, just following right on that eye socket. And then when I have most of the product off of the brush and I feel like I've kind of defined that shape that I want, I'm going to put this brush right inside my eye socket and I'm going to lift upwards and kind of blend this way. When you do that, this is a tapered brush, which is a lot like the M433 or the M441. I've talked about this so many times. It's tapered and pointed, but there are bristles that are all around this brush that are different sizes. And when you do that and you put that right in your socket, it literally like blends for you because I want to blend upward. If I wanted to blend downward, I would be more kind of like this using the brush this way and it would kind of blend for me, but I want to blend upwards. So I'm just following in my natural eye socket shape right here. All right, now I want to get a little bit of brown into this look. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Butter. And I'm using a M441 from Morphe for this particular. And I'm going to kind of start to really now start to kind of put in that fake crease. So I'm just going to go right above my natural crease. I just want to kind of start to really get that shape going now. Get it a little bit more defined. So now I'm starting to get to the point where I want to really put in my fake crease and really start to deepen up the look and get some of these reds and these deeper orangey reds into the look. So this shade right here is a stunning shade. And I'm going to take this. I'm using a Sephora Pro Angle 207. And I'm going to do a kind of a not a large shadow wing but i really want to get this color in here so i'm going to start right at the end probably the last two millimeters um of my upper lash line here and i'm going to take it out to where my and kind of flick it up to kind of where my natural crease is but a little bit above and then I'm going to take it all the way to the bottom and I am following the curve of my lower lash line. So I got a little too high. I don't want it quite that high. So I'm going to just go up and then it's going to come down over here. So 
just a little kind of a flick. I'm also going to take this on the bottom lash line as well and just kind of stamp it right on that root so that it follows this angle upwards. And I'm going to grab a flat definer brush now and I'm going to run this along the upper lash line but just along the root so i'm just going to stamp this along the root of the lash line once i get this done i'm going to create my fake crease and get some real definition into the look so oh, i just love this shade Mm. All right, so I'm going to go back into this shade now, and I'm going to use this to create my fake crease. And now that I kind of have a little bit of a guide going on with this wing, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to follow my natural crease. Now, I'm not going to wing this out. If I were winging it out, I would create it in much more of a winged fashion. I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my natural crease. So right above it and I'm just going to kind of follow the eye socket so basically I am in the eye socket and I am going to connect it to this fake crease everyone's eye socket has a different shape so you want to if you're following your eye socket in the natural contour of your eye shape you want to be familiar with where your socket bone is so you can be right in there right above your natural crease because this is what you want to see when your eyes are open and you're looking straight ahead because with hooded eyes if you can't see it then when you open your eyes it will be gone because of the skin fold and the hood that hangs over your lid. So right now I am right on my hood and then I'm going to eye contour and shade this hood once I get this crease put in and get the shape mapped out exactly as I want it. And then I'm going to grab the Kylie brush, the one that came with this. And I think I'm going to take this shade right here, this orangey shade, and I'm going to smooth out this fake crease line now. I'm going to actually hold the brush horizontally because I want it to kind of blend a little bit upwards as well. All right, now I'm going to go back in to the Kylie palette and I'm going to take this bone color shade on a Sigma E40 and I'm going to just kind of clean up out here now, kind of dust away some of that where I blended it out here because I don't want a lot of color out here. Grabbing a little bit more of this bone color shade here and just using a BH Cosmetics concealer brush, I'm going to map out my lid space. You could totally keep this like this and you would have a beautiful matte, like half cut crease or full cut crease. And it just would be so stunning. I'm going to add a tiny bit of shimmer here. Even though Coppery Sunset, I have spritzed this brush with MAC Fix Plus. And this is the Sigma Cream Color Brush. I have so many of these. I kind of have to look to see which one did I grab. And I'm going to place this. Oh, oh, this is so pretty. Now I am going to go back in and deepen up my crease. Here work I have spritzed the brush with Mac fix plus and I'm hoping that this is going to give me the shade that I am looking for oh 
I'm just taking this gold in the front half of the lid Okay, and I'm using that at my inner corner. Okay, that's popping. Um, but you know what? I'm. Oh, all right. I know that I want to use this light shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and pop this on the inner corner here while my brush is still wet. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, this is gonna work. It's one of those things you know it when you see it kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna take this in our corner up here. go back into this shade right here that I used to create my fake crease and I got my Sephora Pro angled 207 brush and I'm going to go right over I call it the border it's right where the shimmer meets the matte crease shades and just kind of go over it so it's nice and I'm at the point where I'm gonna go back in and put in some of the first shades that I use some of the yellows and a little bit of the bronzer just to and a little bit of that orangey color just to kind of brighten everything up sometimes once I get done with everything um, sometimes things kind of fade so I'm gonna go back in and just smooth everything out and just add a little bit more of each of these shades that I used one of them being this creamsicle shade and you'll see it's just going to be a light dusting really light swirl i'm barely touching my skin i just want to get a little bit of that yellow put back in and just kind of smooth everything back into this bone color shade and this is exactly what it's like it's a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth I'm gonna just graze the edges out here and just kind of clean up out here. These little bone color shades are like little a magic eraser. So if you feel like you got the color up a little too high, things went a little crazy, you can always kind of bring that down into a mesh with these colors and just kind of, kind of erase and just kind of clean up. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take this brush right here, the Kylie brush, it still has some color on it, and I'm just going to go back over and just lightly bring some of that back in. All right, I even thought about maybe putting a tiny bit of glitter in this look, but I'm not. I'm just gonna keep it really sunsetty vibe. So I'm gonna grab this Scattered Light Glitter Reflect. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit and just put it on the inner, inner corner here. just for a little extra pop because why not why not I have said that for months and months and months because why not mm. yes yes this is what I needed okay Boom. Yes. Boom. Boom. I'm placing some translucent powder now right where I would add tape. Um, you guys know I love the effect that I get from tape. I just feel like it really gives such a beautiful result. Um, but I don't always take the time to do the tape. So when I don't, I'm always making sure 
that I clean up out here and make sure that everything is going in this upward direction here. That's just how I prefer it because I have hooded eyes. I feel like the wing gives me a little bit of an elongated effect, but when it comes to shadows, I want everything kind of lifted, kind of out but up, so I don't want anything out here. So if I'm not using tape, I'm always going in with some translucent powder and just cleaning up that so it's nice and lifted. I'm gonna do this, but I think I will. I'm gonna put in a little bit of this black shade here on this angled liner brush, and I'm just gonna kinda go over that deep reddish burgundy, kinda orangey red liner and I'm just gonna put in a little tiny black. I'm just gonna kinda go over what I did just to kind of, just a little tiny baby, little smudgy wing here because why not? Just really, really a little baby just to give a little extra, a little extra definition. I'm gonna do the same thing that I always do. I'm gonna grab my flat definer brush and stamp the root of this upper lash line here. All right, this is the final look. I just really wanted to deepen up this liner since I made this little sunset -y look a little bit more intense than I was really kind of going for in the beginning but I still kept it a light baby wing. I'm gonna spray with the Kylie setting spray and then dry with my fan. So here we go. Whew. Whew. All right. Alrighty, so that completes the look. Mm. I love it. I love it. I would have loved for this wing to stay that reddishy brick color, but it just wasn't giving me that punch. I need an eye. I need a gel cream liner in that shade is what I need. All right, that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.